Hey guys, it's good to be back and today I'm excited to share with you a financial reporting system that I've been delivering to a lot of CFOs over the last couple of years. It's a big part of finance automation is the actual automating of getting your reports out of primarily QuickBooks but also Xero getting them out of there and then getting them into something like Google Sheets where the CFOs then have the capabilities to not only see everything in a few clicks, uh, but to also manipulate some of the data that's coming out. For example, you could pull in the last 10 years of sales and then do some uh, analysis on that and see where we're going, where the trends are, what we're looking for. I've designed it in a way with a couple of tools that makes it so, so, so useful for CFOs. And I just thought I would share it with you guys. Um, and maybe there's some businesses out there that want to take uh, advantage of it. It is something that my firm Data Now does deliver to clients. So if you're interested in something like this, feel free to reach out. Cool, let's have a look at the report. So starts off with basic cover page. It's got some links. Uh, and I'm going to get into a bit of the a little bit of the technical stuff as we go. A dashboard completely customizable based on what uh, what data your client has. This is obviously just um, referencing Geocon as a company, but that's just the demo data that I've connected in. Uh, a lot of the CFOs want some uh, goal tracking with their clients, but if you're just a small business and you want to see all your data in one place, then you can obviously just check it over here. Uh, then for profit and loss, this is when it really shines. You're able to see all the different accounts, uh, sub accounts, and uh, I'm able to add certain formulas, conditional formatting on the side. And then that's obviously now you have like a good look at your profit and loss. So imagine you're a, a CFO or a small business and you want to jump between your profit and loss and uh, balance sheet. It's just as quick as jumping between two sheets in a tab. I don't know if any of you have actually worked in a, an accounting system with your business, uh, but when you have to do this in an accounting system, you go QuickBooks, profit and loss, then pull it, wait for it to load, then QuickBooks, balance sheet, maybe you have to open up a new tab, and that takes time. Um, and then you only have two reports, and then sometimes it doesn't even format it in the way you, the exact way you want to see. Okay, I want to see last month, plus I want to see uh, 13 comparison periods, and I want to see, I mean, to add on things like change month to month, net profit margins, those are generally not going to happen within your standard accounting systems. Uh, so you can also see a yearly profit and loss. Uh, if you're working with classes, there's profit and loss by class. Uh, I've got a nice uh, year on year change for uh, like grouping of formulas. So I can see, okay, what did we do this this time year to date last year and then the year before and then compare them. If you're using locations within QBO, uh, certain customers, you can do profit and loss analysis by a specific customer. Uh, balance sheet, I've shown you balance sheet by year is also quite nice. I can hide some of those. Uh, unfortunately, they aren't vendors uh, in this uh, demo data. Cash flow, if you're using that. And then what I've also got is a really good forecasting tool. And the forecasting tool allows you to input specific figures and have it, you know, change on your uh, results. Um, and then as the time, this is still for 2024, I would probably want to do it for 2025. But as you go along, uh, it changes between forecasted and actual data. Uh, and then you're able to go in and add any expenses you want to track and have them all listed here. And then you can actually compare what we forecasted at the end of the year to what our total was. Quite useful. Um, accounts payable is also uh, super helpful. Then a accounts payable report where you can see a little bit more detail and totals divided out by the, uh, the different companies that owe the client money. Same with receivables. Ideally, you can you want to track who owes you money. And uh, then here's the breakdown of what transactions was related to, what invoices was related to. How this whole thing works is I've got all of these data sets uh, that's coming from a tool called Geocon. And uh, there's Geocon for Zero and Geocon for QuickBooks. And what I'll do is just for example, this AR, I can delete that. How I set it up for my clients is I can, you can load the template like this. 
these are all templates that I've pre-saved to, um, let's call it the Geocon Cloud. There it's popped in, and there's all my data. Last frame refreshed exactly now, um, as of today. And now I would have the ability to manipulate this either directly on the sheet, but ideally you don't want to do it directly on the sheet. You would rather want to manipulate it in a uh, helper sheet where you can just reference this data because this data is going to be constantly refreshing. So I've set it on a formula now to refresh every day at five o'clock. Um, and then what happens is you'll see in just a second, deletes the data, brings in the new data. Didn't look like much, but that's exactly what happens. Quick delete, pulls in all the new data from QuickBooks, obviously using a whole bunch of API calls, drops it in over here. What I'm doing is obviously bringing maybe 18 or so data sets and dumping them all in. I've pre-selected all the correct data sets. What other data sets we can use is also quite interesting, especially a lot of the CFOs. They might want some custom work or a lot of businesses might need to track more specific things. On the data side, here's some of the reports that you're able to pull. Credit memos, deposits, employees, expenses, invoices. I mean, items, I've, I've used this extensively in analyzing my own businesses with like inventory and things like that. Um, expenses, a little bit more detail on that. Bills is very important for me. Then you can also do uh, formatted reports. And here you have a whole bunch of other reports. I mean, we didn't even touch on budgets. There's trial balances, um, cash flow by customers. There's a whole bunch of other reports that we could still utilize in addition to this. So I think this is only really the basic version of this report and you can add on and change so many extra things. So that's uh, just about it for this video. I know it was a little bit uh, brief and short, but this is something so powerful that I've seen so many firms roll out to their clients. So how a CFO firm would work is they get their clients. You're able to obviously connect any QuickBooks data into this sheet. Then you can share it straight with your client and the clients can then chat with the CFO or the business owner can just have something that they can look at. Uh, we can take it further by having it automatically email components of the sheet to the client every week. So if you just want the client to see a, uh, a version of the profit and loss on a weekly version, you know, this can get sent out to them. So it's been so, so pivotal for so many companies. And yeah, it just seems so simple, but so powerful at the same time. And there are a lot of comparative tools. There's uh, Fathom, Sift, which I'm quite good at and versed in because they are needed. But just to have everything set in a specific place, I mean, just to monitor, you know, you can go in every day and just check it's always in the same place. It's quick to open. You don't have to two-factor to get into your Google Sheets. You don't have to do all of that admin to get in and see where everyone's at. Uh, I find it really, really helpful. So maybe this will help someone out there. And uh, you know, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm Andy. I do business tips and tricks to help you grow your businesses. And until next time, cheers.